And now to our big story, funeral home fallout. New information tonight in the discovery of human remains hidden inside the now shuttered Cantrell Funeral Home. Laura, the agency that oversees funeral homes releasing a troubled timeline. Last December, inspectors found numerous violations. Then in April, Cantrell's license was suspended after decomposing bodies were discovered among ants uh, unsanitary conditions. And recently, the gruesome discovery of 11 fetuses. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live on Detroit's east side. And Kim, you're learning the complaints against Cantrell go back much farther than just this year, right? That's correct, Heather and Allen. State inspectors say as far back as the year 2000, they were involved in allegations of incompetence and gross negligence here at the funeral home. That's when Raymond Cantrell Sr. was the operator of the Cantrell Funeral Home. His son, Raymond Cantrell II, inherited the funeral home when his father passed away, and he took ownership in May of 2017. But in November, when state inspectors arrived to conduct an inspection, an inspection related to a complaint they say Cantrell refused to let them in. That given the circumstances that it appears to me to be alleged criminal behavior. Detroit police working with state inspectors to get to the bottom of all that went wrong inside the now closed Cantrell funeral home on Mac in Detroit. Today, state inspectors revealed that when it comes to the decomposing bodies of babies found hidden in an attic area, they range from fetuses in the period of early gestation to at least one baby that was a couple of months old. The discovery is so difficult for even seasoned police officers that counseling was brought in. I mean, these are mother and fathers. Uh, and to see this certainly had a direct impact uh, on them. State inspectors also revealing this afternoon that prior to 2017, it had been years since the Cantrell Funeral Home was inspected. We're told it had been at least 13 years. In 2004, they received some sort of disciplinary action from the state, but it's unclear what it was for. The remains of the baby and the fetuses were found after an anonymous phone call and letter, but state officials say that person did not say when they were hidden in the attic or at whose direction. Uh, we don't know how far back and how long were these fetuses in the attic at Contrail? Uh, again, those are questions that we will need to ask uh, the operators, uh, given forensic evidence, time of death. There's things that we can do. Uh, and then who are the parents? Chief James Craig says it's a felony for anyone to not properly cremate or bury a body within six months, and there are only a few exceptions. And if a funeral home opts to, say, work out a payment plan, then certainly you, you deal with the, the remains appropriately. And then if the person doesn't pay, uh, then you go after them like you would in any breach of, of loan or a contract. Just don't know. And so tomorrow, Detroit police will be meeting with prosecutors, state police, and the attorney general's office to discuss their findings so far and where their investigations go from here. Reporting live on the city's east side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Thank you.